Hi everybody, this is Serena with Pixie Dust Paint Company. And today I'm gonna show you how to take everyday latex paint and make it into chalk paint. So let's get started here. Um, first of all, um, Pixie Dust, we have a couple of different products that you can do to make it pretty easy for you. We have a liquid product and then we also have a powder, which a lot of people um, are used to using the powders. Um, our Pixie Dust powder and our liquid is very unique. Um, it's a combination of um, calcium clay and limestone. Um, it's a very, very fine powder, um, even softer than um, a baby powder. So there's no grit um, or plaster Paris or anything like that. Um, Pixie Dust is um, compliant with um, California Proposition 64, I believe it is. And um, what that means is there's no toxic ingredients in it that they found to cause cancer, and that's kind of a big deal right now. Um, however, be aware of the paint that you use if you are sanding. So I'll show you here. We're just going to do a quick little tutorial so I can show you how to make pixie dust um, with either the powder or the liquid. Um, I actually like the liquid for doing classes and whatnot, and then we use the powder for bigger projects um, like kitchens. I know everybody has a house full of um, these little sample jars, you know, you get at Lowe's and Home Depot and whatnot. And then there's even some bigger, um, these, believe it or not, these are sample jars from Sherwin-Williams. Um, they are a fantastic um, way to save money um, when painting. Um, I, I'm sure Sherwin-Williams doesn't want to hear that, but it's a great paint. Um, anyway, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you here. This is just a small, you can see on here, I think it's like almost eight ounces. On the liquid pixie. Liquid pixie is easier to use for the sample jars like this because you can add it directly to the container. Um, whereas if you're using larger, um, like the Sherwin Williams, you would um, want to use, you know, a mason jar or something like that. I don't recommend adding the powder directly to the can of paint. You want to create a separate jar of paint and really only mix what you need at that point. Um, the shelf life for it is, we think about 18 to 24 months, we have um, jars of paint in the garage, we've been there a couple of years with pixie dust in them, we still use them. As long as the paint doesn't smell and it still mixes fine without the clumps and stuff in it, um, paint naturally has clumps in it, if you can get them out it's fine, but if the paint does have a smell to it, you want to toss it out. Um, pixie dust should not um, contaminate the paint at all. We don't recommend that you paint directly from, a, from the paint you know, the paint can itself. Always put it in a separate container because once your brush hits the paint, it contaminates it. So I'm gonna show you here how you would do liquid pixie. As this was an eight ounce, you can see on the side here, I have it broken down in four ounce increments. The reason we did that is because every sample of paint is a different size. Now, paint samples come flat or satin, just depends on what it is. And Olympic One Paint, I believe is actually an eggshell, which is kind of in the middle of the two of them. Um, I use this paint a lot, so I know that I can use the flat um, ingredients here. So it's just one and a half tablespoons per four ounces of paint. So that's going to be three. And then basically you just measure it out. It should be a nice, you can see how it's a nice little um, consistency. Sometimes it's shipping and storing, um, it'll settle. The uh, water will come up and the chalk will go to the bottom. So you definitely want to like mix it up well. So you just add it there like that most of you can see that's pretty full most of the samples have room for you to add it in there kind of let it sink and you're going to want to cap it and then um you know go ahead and try to shake it if you can i'm um, using a um stir stick um the end of a paintbrush um hang tight real quick i'm going to get something here to stir that wet um, I use a lot of disposable knives to stir paint with um, because they're easy to wash. So you can kind of just stir it up like that one's kind of full, but it'll still work. So you just want to get that all stirred up nice like that. And then your little sample of paint is ready to use. So it mixes very nice and very evenly. We're actually going to set this little paint here aside because we're going to do something fun with this later on. So stay tuned for a video on that. So let me put that aside. And then I'll show you how to use the powder. So the powder is a little bit different. The liquid you can add directly to the container of paint, but the powder you really need to mix that first and then add the paint to it, to your mixture. 
you take a mason jar the um, directions on the back of it break it down for a quart size and then we also have a little tip here on how to make it um, in the pint size as well so um, basically we need a fourth of a cup here to make a pint of paint this is an eighth so I'm just gonna use two of these and we're gonna use about four tablespoons three to four you kind of just measure it out the consistency should be much like um, this one here is that's one two Let's start with three I think it's gonna be about a little three and a little bit something here and then you'll take that you can see how it mixes very nice and very evenly um, and there's not gonna be a whole lot of lumps um, you know lumps and clumps once you get this start up the powder is so fine so it should never be gritty um, it should never be sandy it should never feel like uh, plaster of Paris does you can see that it's a very nice you know just a very nice consistency um, of paint and then you're gonna add the paint directly you know, from if you're using one of the larger ones you're gonna add that directly to the jar make sure you have a lid so you can seal it up um, we tend to date um, the tops of our containers so you know once you mix it you know when you mixed it um, and whatnot and you know you get it all over you like I just said but um, anyway so that's how you make pixie dust either uh, mixing it with paint with this or taking the powder and basically making your own liquid so if you guys have any questions you're welcome um, to send us a message on Facebook at facebook.com backslash pixie dust paint company and you can also email us at hello at pixie .com. and we are available online for sale um, products for sale try to check your stockist first there's a little tab on our website pixie dust paint company.com check your stockist list and make sure that nobody in your area first um, and if there's not, um, feel free to um, order from us. So if you have any questions, again, just send us a message on Facebook. Thanks so much.